little problem getting the Rosing Greer head to take. And how about you? Are you ready for this week's invention exchange, Katrina? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I've got an invention exchange this week. Uh, if you're like me, and I know I am, there are certain days you come home from school or work, and it suddenly dawns on you to have a Halloween party to go to. So I've come up with some easy Halloween costumes you can make with um, Like this one, Crow will be my model for this one. Just take okay. some candy wrappers, ah. and you tape them to yourself or your jacket or your dress if you happen to be a human, like that. And then adorn yourself with some silly string. Oh. <laughs> like that. Open. Oh. And then you can face the camera, and then you can go as the floor of a movie theater. All right? And then you oh, no, get clever. this one. Take a milk carton, put a slit or a hole in the back, uh, cut a hole in the front, wear it over your head, and see? You go as a missing child. Have you seen me? See? And this one takes a little more preparation. Uh, take some aluminum, aluminum foil. I like to use the Reynolds wrap. And a pie pan, and you cut the center out of the pie pan. Then you wrap the foil around your head. Right. Like that. I know I probably sound like a kazoo, right? A little bit. Anyway, I am Iron Man. <laughs> That's uh, anyway, then you get the uh, pie pan. Right there. Right there. Uh, ah. on, on the desk. Yeah, there. there you go. Close. Uh, warm. Okay. Getting warm. It's there a good go. idea to put this on after you finally get to the party, too. I bet. And then you take the pie pan and put it around your neck. And you go as Jiffy Pop Popcorn. <laughs> hey. What do you think, sir? Oh. I saw some hack do that at the Funny Bone in St. Louis. Ah. Frank, go get your costume on. The lizard costume? No, the other one. Oh, okay. Well, Panzer, my invention exchange this week is another easy-to-make costume. Hey, hey, you copied us. Cheaters, that. cheaters. What? What are you saying? That you're the only one to come up with a Halloween costume by using stuff found around the house? I came up with this when you were back in short pants. Can you guess what I am? Can you guess? Well, by taking two lengths of ABS drainage tubing and fastening them to my arms and, and keeping my feet together real close, I, I go as the goalie of a foosball team, huh? You get it, Frank? Huh? And by wearing this ordinary, everyday Fram air filter, I get to dress up as Lieutenant Commander Jordy LaForge of TV's Star Trek The Next Generation, starring TV's LeVar Burton. Kids... Reading opens up a rainbow of enchantment and whimsy and wonder and wisdom. Thank you, Kunta Kinte. Well, your film this week, Joel, burns deep. In the fine tradition of Kramer versus Kramer, Ali versus Norton, Kasparov versus Karpov, it's Megalon versus Godzilla. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you cry, and maybe, just maybe, teach you a little something about yourself. And kids, don't forget to read Godzilla vs. the Velveteen Rabbit. Ah, Spiny Norman. Bob Hacker. Ah, J. Bob. J. Bob <laughs> Hacker. Let's put that on still store there, Camba. Uh, this says, we of the planet halogen find MST3K very cool. Also, it is a religious experience. Three million years ago, when our race crawled out of the primordial cheese, the sea god, A. Vagoda, told of one who would come, and I quote, from the orb of ho-ho's hot dogs and MTV clad in a jumpsuit of red and flanked by two men, uh, question mark of metal, his coming will be heralded by the birth of the Swedish supergroup ABBA. Hmm. Enough said. Somebody doesn't have a life of their own, it sounds like. It says, P.S. Crow must have my baby. <laughs> and I can't. I don't have a womb. Oh. <laughs> anyway, um, here's another one. This one's by Charlotte. She's age seven. Let's put that Aww. on. Still store. Yeah, it says, dear to M. Servo, I like your act. Thank Do you. you like your act? Oh, thank you. Well, I like your act, too, honey. Keep, Keep it up. You. She says, do you like your act? Oh, I love my act. Can't you tell? <laughs> Which act would that be? 
It's the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Information Club, Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota. The zip is 55343. It's been a big day, hasn't it? Sure yeah. has.